your legs, what you want to do is you've got to get them. You want to know how they're going, so you don't have to keep, oh, is it going? Do I have to go this way? Do I have to, do I have to spin it around this way? Oh, oh, and you forget everything all the time, every time. So you get your legs together like this, all right? Simple thing like this. I go A to A. B to B, make that two. C to C, we'll make that three. And we'll do D to D. That's one, two, three, four. See that? It's marked pretty easy, eh? So now when you take them out, you mix them up, they get all confused. You bring them back together and you go, oh, oh yep. Pretty easy. That's the way they're going. So that's what you've got to do. You've got to think about these things. All right. Now we're going to mark up. So we know that A to A, we've got to cut the length off it. So when we've got A to A, see that there? A to A. So that's going to go like that. So then we know that with this one, we're going to get something on there, and with this one, A to A, we're going to get something on that edge. That's where they're going to be joined. So we've got to mark them up. So a good way to do them is you put them in like that, and then you can just work on them both. You know that that's both the top, that's the top. Our rails, 20 mil thick. We can see that, but they are, they're 20 mil thick, so half of 20 mil is 10 mil, right? We know we want the edge of this rail is going to sit in from that edge, 5 mil. It's going to sit flush at the top, 5, five mil in from that edge there. So half of 20 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So we know, because we're drilling dow holes out, that's what we're going to do, drill the dow holes out. When we drill the dow holes, they'll be centre of this, they'll be in the centre. So we know our centre line is going to be 15 mil in. So that's all we've got to mark up. We don't have to try and mark the whole rail up and put it all. All we have to do is mark up where that rail is going to be. All right, let's go. Today, mark on, this is the outside, all right? As I always say, put as many marks on as possible. This is the outside, so you know what's what. We might even call this, this is the front. So that you know, this is gonna be the front. This is where the draw box is going. So what we're gonna do is, we come in 15 mil. So you can go 15 mil. You can set, set the square up at 15 mil. And set that up at 15 mil. I usually go a little bit less, cause you gotta allow for the pencil, so go 14 and a half or so. All right, then we set that up. And you'll probably give yourself three dows. That's probably what we're gonna go in there. Then we got the other one up. Now we know that it's going the right way. So we set that up. Three dows. We've got that worked out. 118. Alright. So you probably want your, what's half of 118? 60 thereabouts, 120. That's, so 59. 59 is your halfway point. The other points, I'd probably come in 20 mil. And 20 mil, I'd probably go at 100 mil. Now, what you've got to think of also is we ripped that up at, um, you know, we've got to join. The bottom one's 30 mil, so coming up from the bottom, that rail's at 30 mil, that's all right. That's gonna be smack bang in the middle of that rail. This one here, that top one was about 18 mil. So we might actually be better. I'm gonna put that in at 10 mil for that one. So you get rid of that one. Then we go 10. Having one lined up already, I can now go like this. So 
as long as this is nice and flush, and just square your lines across. Don't have to measure it out 20 times. Right, so we got them marked. Now we know that the other ones are going to be C and C. So they're going to go at the front. So the way I like to stack these, so see how they you can see that's to the outside, that's to the outside. When we put it together, that's that's how they're going to go together. All right, so that's for the front. So now we're going to do the back. All right, so we mark the back up. See, we do on opposite sides there. And see, it's to the outer, to the outer. Put them together. And I've set these ones down. I've got them, I've got the front out there. So we know at the moment that's the front, it's the back. Put them back together like this. Everything lines up. So now we do exact the same, but with the side. So we've marked the front and back. So I've got front at the front, and I've got the back at the back. So I'm gonna call this one, this is gonna be the right. Right hand, right hand. So you know I'm riding on the outside. Then when I go back over here, I'm gonna call this left hand, left hand. So we know that they're the outside. So once again, we take them, we pair them up. I'm gonna roll them both out. So I know it's gonna be 15 mil in from the outside. This is the outside edge, all right? I'm gonna roll that one out. It's 15 mil in from the outside. So we do that again. We go 15 mil. From the outside, it's, you always work from the same Part. You gotta know where you're working from. You can't go, oh, I'll do that there and I'll do that from the inside. And no, you gotta work the same way all the time. 15 mil. We know all we gotta do is mark the top down because we're going in the center and we're going 10, 59, and 100. So it's pretty simple to mark these rails out. Obviously, the one we got gluing up, we'll just mark that out later and drill it out later, but I can get the rest drilled out for now, and away we go. Not too worried about the height, because once we set it on the machine, over there, we set it on the horizontal borer, all right, the height, is going to be set. So if my mark's a little bit off, doesn't matter. The only marks that really matter is the, that I get 10 mil, 59, and 100 right. They've got to be spot on. Oh, I gotta say that. It's the outside, all right? It's the outside. <laughs> 